the Executive Secretary, National Commission for Persons with Disability. Ide for studio, and you know, say anytime when this man come, joy they fool our heart. This now, the man will be hope to we the physically challenged. I'm a member. I feel no the limp. I feel no, uh, carry somebody to uh, hold stick for me. I feel no you they use hearing aid, but I know say I get deformity somewhere. And this is now our hope for this country. The man when we say government they give them slot for employment, you know they go in village go pack people, you go throw them open and say. Do you know somebody in Enugu State? Yes, say, bring. Do you know somebody in Zamfara State? Yes, bring. Do you know somebody? And if you on your own apply, fine, so be it. Make we appreciate this man. <laughs> he is not operating like a Nigerian. A typical Nigerian. Corrupt Nigerian. He did make him open, make everything reach everybody. So today, he did for studio with him people. He go address us. When he address us, we go continue. Let's appreciate him. <clears throat> let me add, let me add, Your Excellency, the ordinary president. <laughs> 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 Members of the Brigade family of which I am also a proud member of this family. Mm. Sincerely, when I was here this morning, I don't even want to talk too early. I want to remain here almost to the end of the program. <laughs> Enjoy himself. I feel my heart goes to my sister here. The issue she raised, it is deeply so touching. The world is full of evil. Mm. And God alone knows how he can make us to survive. God will take care of her. Mm. Amen. Amen. I'm sure that today she is here. She has got some level of happiness. Mm. Very true. The break it a family. Get a family, something like this, you are truly saving lives. A lot of people with this type of problem, we may only hear tomorrow they leave some suicide notes. Mm. And they are gone. That is true. I am happy that she was here <coughs> and she got some happiness. I will be here until that check arrives, until we celebrate the birthday. Yay! I want to take this opportunity to thank you, <coughs> ordinary president, when one of our own, the deaf blind, was here. Yes, sir. They came on a courtesy call to meet me. Our discussion with them, that was how I say, let them come here, let them come and present this issue, let the world hear. Mm. There are different, different categories of disability. Different, different type of disabilities I imagine in this world today. When he came here, he went out, he was so, so, so excited. Mm. Very happy, unfortunately, I was not around for us to meet again, for me to hear him. But he sent me a very long text message mm. describing to me how emotionally happy he was and how happy he was when he was here, mm. that he want to come back here again to continue with the program. So I told him we are going to take care of his movement to come back here because our ordinary president has given us free air time every Thursday. Mm. One more important thing. <coughs> the challenges that the disability community continue to face is what we call the attitudinal barriers. Mm. The attitude 
is the first problem. One thing I experience a lot is that when you have a particular gathering or a program, you see big, big people will be addressing disability issues and telling you how nice and soft and sweet they can be. But unfortunately, when it comes to action, it becomes a different issue. You can have a person with a disability as a member within your community, as your own neighbor. You may be seeing him around you. You may not be able to do anything until when you hear from Brigitte family, mm. or when you hear from TV, mm. or when you hear from somewhere, you start having positive feeling towards him. Mm. You must start from the one in your neighborhood. You must start from the one that is very closer to you. Mm. What we truly need is not just about the money. Mm -mm. It is not just about the assistance. Love. But what they truly need is about the love face. The love, once you demonstrate that love, you won't even understand the level of energy you are infusing in that person. Mm. The positive thinking alone can bring a lot of changes in somebody's life. <laughs> the important thing is, wherever position we have, whatever level of leadership we have, we have attained, it is very important for us to see that there are different diversity of human beings in this world. Tolerance is one of the most important things that we have to do to imbibe the true love for humanity. We can be able to make a change. Mm. Sincerely speaking, the National Commission for Persons with Disabilities was established by the Discrimination Against Persons with Disabilities Prohibition Law 2018. This law, as we have it, seeks to protect the rights and dignity of persons with disabilities. Discrimination is still around us. A lot of people are doing this intentionally. I can say it. Sometimes, just recently, we may, those of us who may be on the media, on the social media, we must have heard about some things that have been happening just of recent. An incident happened in Lagos. When I watched the video, I watched very clearly how the lady in the KFC was addressing the issue, she was saying it there clearly that their policy does not allow a person on a wheelchair to enter into their restaurant. Mm. The person you see him on the wheelchair, he has stomach. The person you see him on a wheelchair need to eat food. Ordinarily, when you look at our moral principle alone, you shouldn't have stopped this time bringing that type of view. And when she was insisting that way, we saw it very clearly. Number one, she must have that negative attitude towards viewing a person with a disability. Sometimes our tradition in different, different parts of this country, it teaches us something so different, far different, too negative about a person with a disability. When you hear somebody, sometimes when I approach some people, when I say, oh, I am not here, the first thing they will say, oh, sorry, sorry, I am sorry, I am sorry, I am sorry, I am sorry. You are sorry for what? <laughs> <laughs> Did you close my ears? The first thing that comes to the mind is that pity, that pity. Do we deserve that pity? No. Mm -mm. Do we deserve it? No. And then sometimes some of the people you meet them, when you look at your own social status and the social status of the person now showing you pity, <laughs> you might have been even ahead of yes. the way or the other. So when we you look about that here. level, mm. do you deserve the pity? Mm -mm. And is the pity really necessary? And is that pity supposed to solve the problem? Mm -mm. 
if I am here to buy something, and if I tell you I cannot here, you are supposed to help me here. Help me. Describe to me. He listen to my questions and help me understand you very clearly so that I can buy the thing and leave. Mm. The person with a disability, when he came to enter that place, she said, no, 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 no. That they cannot allow the person with a disability. This is their height of insensitivity. Mm. And so when we look at it very clearly, we have to dig out deeply to find out what is the root cause of that problem. Is it her own attitude alone? Is it the policy of that organization that she is trying to protect? Is it there any deeper issue inside that we have to dig out and let us find out what truly is the problem? We have extended the invitation to the organization to appear for an investigation. Mm. We are expecting them as soon as they own the investigation, we are going to dig deeper. And as soon as we go deeper, we must review the policy if it is. And whatever it is, KFC is a global organization. I travel to different countries. I see them. Most of the times I enter, I eat food. But I have never sensed this type of behavior mm. until when it comes to our own place here. Mm. If there can be positive about disability in America, if there can be positive about disability in London, there have to be positive about disability in Nigeria. Oh, we have a fighter. We cannot continue to allow, continue to be a place where every shit must be done here. Mm -hmm. We have to make a way how we must correct this problem. Right. And we are going to dig deeper to make sure that we find out the root causes of that problem. I must say it very clearly that there are some private sector organizations that are truly very positive about persons with disabilities. We have a group of private sector organizations in Lagos. As I said, Bang are inside. MTN are there. Unilever are there. Most of these organizations, they brought themselves together to see how they can be able to improve, to improve opportunities for persons with disabilities in their workplace. They offer employment for persons with disabilities. Some of them contacted us to provide some skillful persons with disabilities based on the qualification they so need. And we have been doing that to support the system. <laughs> this year, this year, very soon in June, we are having a conference with this, the same people in Lagos, where we will continue to review it. We will still continue to extend our invitation to other private sectors to join this forum. That is where you will understand truly about disability and that understanding and embracing disability also add value to businesses. Yeah. Not every person with disability is poor. There are some who have some who have the intellect, very, very intelligent and very, very innovative. That was given the opportunity, they will add value. They will not only just add small value, they will have, they will add heavy value. Mm. And this is something that we need to understand with society that persons with disabilities can truly contribute to the development of Nigeria as a country. Today, on the issue of accessibility to the built environment. We have a law, and the, this law says every building, every particular place that is enforcement is only encountered that issue of inaccessibility. That's a good one. For five years ended. Within that five years, every public building is supposed to be made accessible for persons with disabilities. I seem to understand that all the effort we have been doing in creating awareness about this, some are still claiming they do not know. If you hear, you have a choice of hearing. If you hear, the hearing is by force once your ear is open. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a choice of believing it. You mm. have a choice of accepting it. And you have a choice of oh, what the law, what the law is saying is that ignorance of the law is not an excuse. Mm. Our lawyer is here. <laughs> I am not a civil lawyer. <laughs> so in all of these cases here, yeah, every public building are supposed to be made accessible for persons with disabilities. 
But we try to preach accessibility. I can still remember there is a case of so incidentally when he came back to enjoy his utopia place, unfortunately he encountered disability. Mm -hmm. And when he encountered disability, the lavish, the beautiful bedroom he made on the topless upstairs, he is no more able to use it. <laughs> Now he have to use the small room he did it there for his own katara. Now he have to use that. Now all of these people that are supposed to support him are now going into that very beautiful, very beautiful and nice bedroom to see live there. When we preach about accessibility, accessibility is for the benefit of everybody. As our ordinary president is saying, there is a member of the disability community. Yes. Once you cross 60, once you cross 60 years, once you cross 60 years, like it or not, you are a member of the disability community. Better come and register. There are a lot of things you cannot be able to do as you cross 60. <laughs> and therefore, when we talk about so when we talk when we talk about accessibility, we are talking for everybody to listen. On the issue of discrimination, on the issue of discrimination, we are now rising up to our responsibilities. You discriminate against a person with a disability, there is a fine. As a corporate body, you are paying one million naira. While as an individual, you are going to pay 100,000 naira. Wow. wow. Okay. <laughs> coming back, coming back to our religion. Mm -hmm. God has created man and woman. <coughs> when you look at into it, he God says he has created us in his own image after his own likeness. There is no discrimination in our holy books. As a Christian, I know he, Jesus Christ has given his time, attention to the blind, to the deaf, and to the lame, and to the lepers. Yeah. If God himself can dedicate his time, who are we, ordinary human beings, that we will say that when you see a blind, you are medically, there is no disability that is contagious. Disability is not COVID-19. <laughs> that they will say it is traveling in the air yeah, to come and no. catch you. Disability is not like that. Mm. We later understand even the leprosy we were running away from before times. Just this hockey. That is part of humanity. Thank you. When the devil line was here, after he finished his advocacy, he told me that there was a donation of to the tune of five million naira. Yes, sir. That was a miracle money. <laughs> <laughs> he was just very shocked and surprised completely and up to today. Because we have people with a large heart who can truly understand the donation they were giving, he said the donation is not for him as a person to mm. spend the money, mm. but that they are going to use the money in their organization to continue their advocacy effort to enlighten the world about the blind, the deaf blind people. As an institution, we provide small, small grant annually to different, different associations to continue to escalate their advocacy in their own way, while we continue to do our part on our own way to create the necessary awareness about disability. Everybody, you are one way or the other. We have responsibilities to make this world comfortable for every citizen. Thank you. As our ordinary president was here in the morning, wake up. Wake up, mm. wake up. <laughs> Do not sit him too long on your own bed. <laughs> wake up. We have to also wake up to make Nigeria a workable, a workable country. 
we are talking about recently we are crying about dollar going up to 1900 mm. naira to a dollar today the dollar is back coming down again it shows that nigeria is working mm. And when we continue in this way, truly the dollar will come down, will come down, it will come down to nothing. Yes. And if we can be able to do that, we are building a better country for ourselves. We are building a better country for the next generation. We are even building a better country for persons with disabilities. Thank you. And therefore, whatever contribution you can make in your own corner do to it. make the world comfortable for persons with disabilities, please do it. It is our responsibility mm. as part of humanity. It is our duty to make it comfortable for each and every citizen. When you look at the social ladder today, you look at it, the persons with disabilities are at the lowest stage of the social ladder. If you are if you are crying of no food on your own table, how much more can you say about somebody who cannot see? Mm. Somebody who may not have a leg to go to the farm to farm. Somebody who may not have the years to be able to go and negotiate something in the market. These are the things. Mm. Help me tell them, say, now time for us, we persons living with disability, to fight the leadership of the National Assembly so that even if <laughs> is that his water? Wait. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Open new one. Uh -huh. My hand no day make it. that one now me open and for them. Uh -huh. <laughs> When I <laughs> say make national assembly, if we know fit because they don't make politics expensive for Nigeria, persons living with disability cannot contest for any position. Money for form alone is a problem unless all political parties will make it exceptional that once you are a member you are one of our members a person living with disability you, the form will be given to you free of charge if not before that one will happen before political parties will agree national assembly their employment 60 percent both senate and the national uh, house of reps 60% employment should be persons living with disability. If truly they are representing us as human beings. How many people can you see rolling out of on a wheelchair from the National Assembly and that person is not a complainant but a staff, either a legislative aide to somebody? I've not seen any. Yet they claim that they are representing us. What kind of representation is this? But a senator can break his leg and decide to sit on a chair and be ruled in. He's not, he is he's our uh, emergency member. And that his membership is, is temporary. After they do the leg, he's okay. He will leave the chair and he will be discriminating against us, we persons living with disability. We are saying the National Assembly should set an example. Let them employ our members as le their legislative aides and other components. And let the presidential villa employ our members we have our members that are qualified to walk inside the villa and make provision for them to move freely. Do we have a blind man, a minister? No. Do we have a minister on a wheelchair? No. Do we have a deaf person as a minister? No. The only luck we have is him alone. How many support is he getting? 
So we are crying out now. We are crying out. We, the, the, the uh, persons living with disability are saying, we are not begging them. They must do it. If not, we know what to do. <coughs> Tell him. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for these very important observations. I think on the issue of the National Assembly, I must commend the Speaker of the House of Representatives, mm -hmm. right, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas. Mm. He happened to appoint a person with a disability as his special assistant, one. Hey, let's appreciate. This matter started when Femi Bajabia Mila was the Speaker of the House of Representatives. He started this appointment, giving an appointment for a person with disability to serve as his own special assistant in the National Assembly. He opened the gate. So immediately when he opened the gate, this, this Speaker now came in and continued with it. Hmm. As you rightly say, we will use this opportunity to invite the Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to copy this and provide this appointment for the person with disability. Once appointment is provided like this, they are not going to be useless in the National Assembly. Our interaction right now is we are setting up a disability services center in the National Assembly. Mm. And the disability service center in the National Assembly is supposed to be manned by these political appointees with disabilities. They are very, very intellectual people. The one that has been given the appointment for the speaker presently is pursuing his PhD in Ghana at the moment. Mm. Now that very person have all the necessary skills to be able to guide these honorable members on how they can make their motion disability inclusive, mm. how they can make their constituency projects to be disability inclusive. We are setting up the center. We are going to equip the center to make sure that these members have to be visiting the center, interact with them so that you will truly understand the plight of persons with disabilities in your respective constituencies and plan how you are going to address this. I must take this opportunity to commend the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Bola Matinibu, he has also appointed a senior special assistant to the President on Disability Affairs. Subsequently, if you can still recall, there is this Minister for Police Affairs. He is also an amputee. He is using an artificial limb. Although he happened to get disability just recently, we are trying everything possible for him to understand truly the plight of the disability community and remain our ambassador. At the moment, he is already a member and he cannot escape that. <laughs> you have to accept that he is part of us because what God has made it, there is know how as a person you can run away from it. President Bola Amatinibu did not discriminate against him for having that disability, but he saw the competence in him, he saw the connections, he saw this capability to deliver as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and he was given that responsibility. We must extend this from him to make sure that he truly become an ambassador of the disability community, even within his own ministry to influence proper disability inclusion in the Nigeria police. Thank so you. Thank you. Happy. So that persons with disability should truly enjoy the government left, right, and center. Help me tell them. Thank you. Say, well, make we uh, appreciate um, <coughs> President Bola Ametinobu. <laughs> tell them, say, this one one, be like old woman mouth. Want it here, want it here. It's not enough to grind Kula <laughs> Nut. <laughs> Tell them, old woman, we want it there here. One day here. One day here. Can, can she grind Kula Nut? Can she chew? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, camera caption now. Main reaction is, is important. Kai. <laughs> So we want more. Very Thank important yes. that because uh, the speaker has one person, is not encouraging. It is not enough. We should have a minimum of at least hundred of our members working at the National Assembly, not a speaker one. This one one. Is it their father's money they are using to pay the salary? No. Everybody no. is entitled to good life in this country, including our members. So, if not because, now because they here, we they even clap for them. If not be so, if tell and say to say you know they here, we're gonna go clap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, we are not tell him we are not begging them. It is our right. It is mm. our right. They must give it to us. Oh, if they don't give it to us, we pray that God should make them our members. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so that when they join us, they will truly really understand. They will where understand, we are yes. <laughs> when they are lifting a big man, to the first floor, and they are struggling with him. Peke, 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 peke. Mm. At the end, when they drop him there, mm. he will understand. Yeah. Are we together? Yes, sir. So tell him he has two minutes to round up. Thank you so very much. Mm -hmm. As you rightly say, we want to call on the state governors. We have the federal government have done their base by promulgating this law and then establishing the National Commission for Persons with Disabilities. Some state governors have tried their base in establishing this type of institutions. Just like we have in Nasarawa, we have in Lagos, we have in Ikiti, we have in Plateau, we have in Kaduna, we have in other states just like that. We are calling on the governor of Niger State. They have already signed that bill into law already. We are calling on them to do the appointment of persons with disabilities to start that commission in Niger State. The same way we are calling on Colonel State to do the same thing, to honor that law. The same way we are calling the governor of Adamawa State to honor the law that was passed by the State Assembly, signed by the former governor, please honor that law, establish the Commission for Persons with Disabilities, and appoint persons with disabilities, give them the leadership opportunity. They are going to do wonders. Mm -hmm. They are going to do wonders. It is only those who wear the shoe, not where it pinches them. Mm -hmm. By giving them that opportunity, they can have the leadership skills they can go rope my time will come and finish mm -hmm. we want these people who have this experience to come and take over from here and let us mm -hmm. move forward Nigeria must grow and therefore we must do everything in our right corner to encourage persons with disabilities into leadership we are not condemned we are not useless we are very very important we can add value to the system once given the opportunity let Thanks. us sustain our love our heartfelt love to the disability community, embrace them, and you will see miracle. Somebody yesterday I was seeing, somebody or governor was saying that you will surprise them. Our people also surprise them. Mm -hmm. We will surprise the society <laughs> once we have the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Tell them, say, I say, of these three states when he mentioned, I can comfortably say Niger State Governor will implement. I'm not a politician, no. But from their body language, you can know the serious-minded ones yes. that have got humanity in them. And I can comfortably tell you that Kano State Governor will implement. 
Thank you, thank you. Yes, I am looking forward. I am looking forward I don't to be there in this day for the swearing of my own members. I was in Nasarawa State just recently for the swearing of my own members. Mm. And any state that I'm going to do it, I will personally be there. Thank you. Witness it. Tell us, say, you not talk anything <coughs> about political parties making form. Cheap. No, free. cheap. Free. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Yes. They yes. must APC, PDP, APP, PDP, Abga, all of them. Once you are pe a person, one of our community members, you pick the form free. Yes. Ma maximum, if they must pay money, 1,000 naira. Thank you. Thank you so very much for political parties. Yes, political sir. Parties. Yes. We have tried a lot of effort to make sure that, first of all, they should open their own constitution, open their leadership, and provide opportunities for persons with disabilities. Just like we have youth leader, we have women leader, let us have leaders for persons with disabilities. Yeah. They are all progressive Congress, APC as a party. They did this right from the beginning of the party. Nobody advocated for them. They try to embrace the disability community. There is the national leader, state leaders, zonal leaders, up to down to the local government leaders. They provide opportunities. Today they are providing their so form. They do. Although at Let's 50%, appreciate APC now. Although they are providing their form at 50%. For persons with no, disabilities. Let it As be 1,000 Naira. We are still requesting, we are still requesting that the form should still go down. 1,000 Naira. APC, but APC as a party have tried, but we want them to do more. The, all of the other political parties, they only remember persons with disabilities during campaign. Oh. Mm. Only during campaign. When they see our number, when they go to INEC, they see the number of persons with disabilities with PVC. Now they will start forming their own campaign group for persons with disabilities. Immediately after election, pop, they run away. You will never hear them again. You will never hear them Not again. Not the only also. Yes. Now everybody, the politicians, they do that thing. <laughs> but they have to correct it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, so finally, yes. finally. <laughs> Thank you. Any? Thank you. Thank you. Make we appreciate them.